Oh yeah. So I got chased by two dogs today. One was a pit bull and the other one was a wolf. This thing might have been eating gunpowder. I'm not really sure. to Columbus everybody. Some rain. No big deal. Indiana's is great. Sawyer squeeze, guys. Just gotta keep it warm. Got a six mile downhill in Gnawbone. Salt Creek Trail here guys in Nashville, Indiana. Very cool town. Really cool little artist community. It's got some history in there as well. All this stuff that every town does, doesn't it? Every, isn't every town 100 years old at this point? Yes. So I got chased by two dogs today. One was a pit bull and the other one was a wolf. Doesn't beat Ohio. I got chased by like eight dogs in one day. I got chased by a dog every day I was in Ohio, except when I was like strictly just on trail. But yeah, eight dogs in one day. Uh, and some of those dogs were uh, pit bulls and uh, there was a Rottweiler in there. But yeah, today a wolf. But the wolf was trailing me today and, and like gaining. It was like gaining on me. <laughs> I don't know what this thing, this thing might've been eating gunpowder. I'm not sure, <laughs> whatever. Whatever. I guess that was like the most extreme dog chasing ever, but you know, the, the road was kind of flat and I could really, I was like laying it down, but uh, I don't know. I mean, if that was an uphill, there, were, there would have been an altercation. Oh well. Maybe sitting on that cookie wasn't a good idea. Brown County, Indiana, guys. We're we'll moving on here. I'm on 46 West. I'm about 10 miles outside of Bloomington. And uh, I don't know where I'm gonna get today. I'm, I'm just kind of chilling. Yeah, I spent some time there in Nashville. I'm, I'm hanging out on this little creek here. This is probably the Salt Creek. I rode their little local bike path there, the Salt Creek Trail. It's like three quarters of a mile. I rode out and back. I'm just kind of poking around, you know, taking it, uh, 
It's taking it easy here in my uh, <clears throat> after my uh, zero day yesterday. So I'm on the Clear Creek Rail Trail here, guys. It's like a three mile trail. Um, just south of Bloomington, or this might even be considered Bloomington, Indiana. I'm just off my A game a little bit here today. Um, I don't know. I'm not feeling 100%. I'm like 98. Like, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Coming through Bloomington, dealing with all the cars and the people and the stoplights and the bike lanes. I was becoming very impatient. Uh, which I don't like to do because I'm I'm on vacation man to be relaxing and like who cares not feeling great makes me go a little bit slower, you know, so It's all right, but I'm just taking it easy Working my way west. I don't know trying to get to maybe Bloomfield tonight or something Looking forward to camping out today. I was on 46 and like some other roads that were just like completely busy um, You know periods of it no shoulder and this and then not today, man. So I got to get back on some like farm roads and some country roads and uh, get back to it. So Clear Creek Trail, another trail down. So I was on the Bloomington Rail Trail. This is the Clear Creek Trail. That goes up the Tap Road 2.2 miles. Okay. So I'm going to continue following the Bloomington Rail Trail down to Church and see how far I can take it. Here on the Limestone Greenway. Midwest has really got it down with the bike friendly stuff. There's there's a trail everywhere. Bloomington just had so many bike routes and so many trails, it's unbelievable. But yeah, I don't know. I'm on the Limestone Greenway. Just for about a mile and a half or so. But should be back on the road here shortly. Just camped out here on the side of the road, guys. I don't know. It's flat. Nobody seems to be bothering me yet. And uh just chilling. Day 24 went pretty well. I got uh, 78 miles in today. Uh, should be pushing into Illinois tomorrow. Anyway, it was an all right day. Day 25. <clears throat> Look at these stinkers. Time to get packed up, get the hell out of here before the cops show up. Start asking him for information. In a stealth camp situation, I think it's important to drop the tent immediately, and then it just looks like you're taking a break. So. Another dry spot. Yeah, guys. So, so you drop the tent at a stealth camp, and it looks like you're just a crazy person taking a break. I'm just hanging out on the side of the road now. I didn't sleep here. There was a huge trailer parked right here last night, which I like kind of parked back behind. There were like uh, sheds on the back of it, like a flatbed, like a huge flatbed trailer for a semi truck. Which it's gone today. So I mean, there were like people right there at some point in the middle of the night or this morning. I don't know. What is it? Day 25? Day 25. I should be hitting Illinois here, guys, in like 44 miles. But, uh, yeah, this is where I camped last night. Check it out. Yeah, kind of a busy four-way intersection. It wasn't like this busy last night, but, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I just swung in there, and, uh, that's where I was camping because... I wasn't feeling great, and that's where I'm sleeping, so it wasn't too bad, guys. It was, uh, you know, there was there was some traffic all night. There were some trains going on and stuff like that. I did find myself waking up a bit, but I slept all right. I slept pretty good. That was fine. That was fine. I see no problem with that other than there wasn't a water source, so that's what I'm going after uh, first thing. I should be hitting uh, Switz, Switz City. 
Swift City, Indiana here in uh, just a few miles. So I'm going to grab water there and maybe like some Gatorade or something like that as well. I think my electro my electro lights are jazzed up. Uh, so, yeah, guys, back on the road, 25. And today I'll be into state number 10. Pennsylvania, Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky... I think I'll be touching into Illinois, guys. That's uh, state number nine. State number nine today. That's hard to believe. But uh, I am two steps away from St. Louis and starting the Katy Trail. I am so excited about that. It's the longest rail trail in the country, and I've been wanting to do this trail for like 10 years. So finally getting an opportunity to do the trail from end to end. Um, I have stopped on the trail a couple times just to, just to stand on it, I guess, just to see it. Um, but you know, definitely didn't cover any mileage or anything like that. So this is uh, this is really exciting. So I'll be heading to the uh, the Arch in St. Louis, the gateway to the West, and then I'll be heading up to Machins or Mockins, uh, uh, yeah, Mockins, uh, Missouri, to uh, start the Katy Trail. But anyway, that's a couple states away. We got Illinois between us. So still rolling Indiana here, guys. I'm on uh, 67 South, just outside of Bicknell, Indiana. Uh, pretty quiet road. I'm glad I chose this way. Uh, it's like zero traffic pretty much all day. This is what Illinois is probably going to look like. Zero hills. But I'm pretty sure I got all the hills out of my way last night. And, uh, yeah, be rolling into Illinois here shortly. State number nine, guys. Illinois. There it is, guys. That's Illinois. That'll be state number nine. But I'm debating. No, I'm not. Indiana was a great time. Not done yet. I think I'm going to roll down the, uh, the Wabash River here for a while. There's a bit of a gravel trail down here. And then I'm going to get onto River Road and take it south down to, I don't know, whatever. The road just like crosses over the river. It goes to St. Francisville, Illinois. So that's where I'm going to be starting Illinois at. But there it is right there. And, uh, yeah. I'm in uh, Vincennes. Vincennes, Indiana. Pretty easy day of riding today. Every once in a while, Indiana will throw in a hill at you, but uh, today's just kind of overcast and uh, cool and breezy. It's nice. But just about to pick up the uh, the road across across the bridge into Wabash, across the bridge of the uh, Wabash River. 
into uh, St. Lawrenceville. No, St. Francis. Phil. Tin. Tin. Illinois, state number nine. That was the craziest bridge I've ever crossed in my life. It's an old train bridge, guys. This is the Cannonball. This is the Cannonball Bridge uh, going from Indiana to Illinois, the southernmost bridge you could take over the Wabash River. That was terrifying. That was that was terrifying. basically the campsite for day 25. Made it to Illinois. I hope everybody enjoyed the Indiana section as much as I did. Uh, looking forward to Illinois. So I'm less than 200 miles away from St. Louis and I'll try to see how far I can get tomorrow. 160 miles away. 280s? I don't know. It might be two or three days across Illinois here but uh, yeah looking forward to what Illinois has to offer. So far it's uh, some really nice countryside, you know? Nothing to complain about here. Thanks for staying tuned, guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and do so now. It's really helping out the channel. I'm almost to my goal of hitting a 1,000 subscribers. Bike's cool. Everything's cool. We good. Thanks for staying tuned, guys. I'll see you on the road.